What's good, fam? I'm going to show you how to make Cheddar Bay Biscuits better than Red Lobster. Come on. This is a nice one. This is a classic. Cheddar Bay Biscuits, real simple to make, minimum ingredients. Uh, you're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, and the rest of our dry ingredients consist of one tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. One cup of sharp cheddar and white cheddar mix, three-fourths cup of whole milk, and six tablespoons of unsalted butter. And we're going to put the butter in the freezer for about 20-30 minutes before we use it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Let's take all of our dry ingredients and we're going to mix them together. Mix them really well, nice and thorough. Now, the butter is probably the most important part of the recipe. And the way you handle it can make or break the homemade biscuits. We're going to use a box grater to grate the butter. This helps evenly distribute the butter throughout the mixture without overworking the butter. This is the reason why we freeze the butter first, because you want the butter to be as cold as possible when it goes in the oven. Add the 3 fourths cup of whole milk. We're going to stir it until just mixed. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and add in our shredded cheese. Go ahead and clean our surface off nice and good. Pour our mixture right on top of that flour that we put there, just to make sure this doesn't stick. Mash it together until we have a nice flat surface. And then we're going to fold it about five to six times. You want to make sure you have a thickness of about, of about one inch. We're going to cut it into eight biscuits, about two inches a piece. gonna do it old school style and use my hands and form it into a little circle really I don't care what's the shape I just <laughs> I just know they're gonna taste delicious they all set ready to go in the oven all right so our oven is up to temp preheated to 425 we're gonna put it in there for about 12 minutes we're gonna be using the Cajun garlic butter to top off these biscuits this is actually homemade and I do have a video for this recipe you can check out Wow, those look good. Golden brown. So all you gotta do now, we're gonna slap it with some of that Cajun garlic butter, just like that. And I mean, whew, this is it right here, baby. I'ma just put it out there. These knocking off Red Lobster. Take a bite of that. Mm. Hey, you guys can follow me at Tito's Kitchen 305 and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to smash that like button. Peace.